Hey folks, welcome to Quantsap and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we will learn about uh, two different strategies specifically for bullish and bearish market and when we are trading very close to the expiry day. Okay, so in this strategy that we are learning today, theta is something what we are trying to capitalize on plus we are trying to, uh, you know, not take a big hit if our stop loss is triggered. Okay, so this is more of a, you know, directional plus oscillating option strategies that we are going to understand. So the name of strategy is bull call ladder and bear put ladder. Okay, so it is uh, more, uh, uh, you know, it is more like a ratio spread, but with an advancement. Okay, so let's understand. So by the way, I will be using option chain uh, tool in the app to explain you and also the option architect tool. And these tools are essential. So for any option trader, okay, if you are trading an option, these tools you should have on your arsenal, right? So these are essential. So you, you should avoid uh, trading options without this because they are helping you to take an informed decision. So these tools, what I'm showing architect and op uh, option chain, those are, you know, free in the app, you can use it. So to navigate to the app, you can click over here, okay, in the I card over here or here, wherever it pops out and it will take you to the link and it will help you in, you know, navigating to the tool. And also you will uh, sign up and you will uh, get the rest essential tools as well as free in the app, right? Rest few tools are there which, comes at a cost, so which are under uh, subscriptions in our app, but the essentials have been kept free. So let's start, okay. So let me go to option chain and let me just explain what we are trying to achieve. So what we are trying to achieve is uh, really, really simple. So now what we are trying to get is the theta benefit, okay. So now if you just check this, this theta, okay. So theta will tell you how much premium will decay if that option is held for one day. So th that is basically the decay in premium, it shows how fast your premium will decay due to passage of time. Okay. So now let's say if I buy a simple call option, okay, a plain vanilla 17400 call option, single leg option, if I buy it, what would be the output of it? It will give me a bullish payoff. But the problem of that would be if I hold that strategy for tomorrow or day after. Like that, that strategy will create a lot of problem. And the problem is nothing but the theta. So to offset that, here comes one option strategy, which is called as bull call spread, wherein I am <clears throat> selling one more option of 17,600 and 9 rupees theta is something what I will receive now. So this is 14, this is 9, right? But still net net, if I hold the option strategy, still net net, I will end up paying money, right? Still net net, I'll be, I, I'll end up paying money to theta DK. So for that matter, what I'll do is, I'll sell one more lot, okay? I'll sell one additional leg, which is 17,700 strike price call option. Okay, so the strike selection might differ here and there, but the idea is to buy one lot, if I am bullish of call option and sell two different strike prices call option so that I am getting net theta inflow on my option strategy. Optimize your options trading using Quantsap. Click the link in the description box below, apply code YTube and get a two days additional access to all the advanced option trading analytics and be a data driven trader with Quantsap. Thank you. Okay, so why not I sell 17600 strike price only? Okay, so let me just draw it over here or annotate it over here. So I'm buying this, I'm paying net theta, right? I am selling this one lot, okay? So I am getting theta, right? And I'm selling this also one lot. So I am net receiving the theta, right? So this is what I'm trying to achieve. But one question here uh, would arise, which is why not sell 17,602, right? Even that can be done and that is called as ratio. But I'll ex go to architect tool and I'll explain what, uh, what that strategy, you know, where this strategy specifically comes handy, okay? So let me just go to architect, okay? Now click on custom strategy to build your own strategy. So any option strategy you can build in the architect and you can analyze it. You can analyze payoffs, check on what various levels, how much PNL you you'll end up making. And you know, it, it is a very uh, essential tool to take a calculated risk. So make sure to download it from the link in the description or again, you can uh, sign up uh, to the app from the I button popping out. Okay. So let's say I am buying this. So I'm going to Greeks. So Greeks, it will show us the 
net positional Greeks of your option strategy. Okay, so these are positional Greeks. That, that means for this entire option strategy, absolute how much theta will be decaying, what is the delta impact, what is vega. So it is for the entire position. So basically what it is trying to do, it is trying to multiply the delta or the theta or the Greek value with the lot size and it is showing us the absolute value. Okay, so it is basically positional Greek. So we call it positional Greek. So over here, if I just move the cursor, if I, if I just hover my cursor, I'll get to see on what various levels of Nifty, how much profit or loss I would end up making in this strategy. So now, if I just see my theta is 690 rupees, right? So almost 700 rupees is the theta cost that I'm paying. So even if Nifty moves in my favor, I'll still not end up making money. So maybe, right? If, if the move is very small, then I'm paying a big theta check. So what I will do is I'm going ahead and selling this one lot, okay? I'm selling this one lot, okay? So I sold it. Now it, it turns out to be a bull call spread, right? Now if I just navigate to theta, so see the theta decay is 220 rupees roughly, but it is still something which I'm paying, right? So to offset this, what one can do is, one can go ahead and sell 17,700 strike price call option. One more lot of 17,700 strike price call option, I have sold it. Now this has turned to be a bull call ladder. Okay. So what is bull call ladder? So bull call ladder again, a strategy name wherein, you know, what you have, you have done is you have sold two additional lots in this particular scenario. Now just check this strategy out. Anywhere, <coughs> market going anywhere negative, 2,200 rupees, 2,300 roughly is the max loss that you will witness in this strategy. Right. And at the peak, which is if the market goes to 17,600, which is 200 points positive from here, even 17,700 for that matter, you will end up making 7,700. Right. So market going 400 positive or 300 positive from the current level, still net net, you are, you are, you'll end up making money in this strategy. If anything goes wrong, not a big deal. 2,300 rupees is the loss that you'll take and you will exit. Okay. Now check this strategy out. Till this level, 17,855, right? You are covered, right? You can see the expiry break even that if you hold the strategy till expiry, you know, this is the break even that you are achieving, which is 17,855. So from the current level, still, I would say you are 450 points away, right? Roughly 450 points away on the upper side, your, the break even is still away. So till 455 points in this strategy, which I have built. I am safe. I, am, I don't need to really worry about a lot. If anything goes wrong, still anything, I am not worried about a lot because 2,200 is the max loss I will take and I'll exit. Okay. So this is bull call ladder, right? Now I'll just explain why not. So I said, why not sell uh, 17,600? So I am trying to do that. I'm selling one more lot of seven, uh, 17,600. So see, this is the problem, right? This is the problem with the ratio spread. Right, wherein if I just show you now, so if you see the there is a mountain peak, right? There is a peak which is getting formed in this, right? There is a peak which is getting formed in this. There is no flat uh, curve which gives me an additional buffer, you know, that even if market moves in my favor, I still have that cushion. I will still have that buffer that okay, abhi mera instant max loss start nahi yoga. But now in this strategy, what you can see, the peak is only where you will make a profit and the movement. The market starts going above it again. Your strategy ends up, uh, you know, ends up in loss. Another uh, problem in this is seventeen six ninety. There we got seventeen um, eight fifty, I guess, right? So you know, for ratio, ratio becomes a bit more aggressive, right? And because there is a peak getting formed, bull call ladder is more a stagnant thing wherein a flat curve is getting formed on the top, so that. Utna aapke paas buffer hai that if the market remains in that range till you will earn you know a good profit so the the differentiator is that in bull call ladder that flat zone that we saw right that is where the crux was right wherein even if market remains in that zone the range of getting max profit is very very big in a bull call ladder so let's edit this okay so let me just exit one of the lots Okay, so entire leg is getting exited. Now let me add one more. 
So this is pull call now. I'll convert this into a pull call ladder. Okay. So benefit of the strategy. See, this is what I was talking about. First, the break even. Second is the curve, the stagnant curve, the flat curve that still you have in this zone. How much? From seven eighty hundred points in which even if Nifty moves, still you have a probability of eating out or churning the max profit out of the strategy. Okay. And the Greeks aspect that we understood, still you are earning a theta positive. So this is theta positive. The more hold, the more you hold the strategy, more lucrative it becomes. Okay. So now coming to the sweet spots to execute the strategy when. The theta starts to decay very very fast, right? But over here, you need to sit with the strategy for some time. Okay, it is not a intraday or one day or two day strategy. You need to sit with the strategy for some time. Another aspect is if you want to hedge the strategy, you can go ahead and do it, but it will take away some uh, premium of loss, right? And it will be converted into a short call contract. Okay, so you can do it wherein again. The crux is seven four hundred profit roughly on the top two thousand five hundred is what you are losing. So you can hedge it if you are not ready to take an undefined loss. The same thing can be done for the put side. So how will you do it? So let's go to architect custom strategy. Okay, and uh, first thing, buy a put option. Okay, add leg. Again, to repeat, you will not sell same strike prices again and again. Okay, you will not sell two lots of the same strike. The reason I said that it will be a mountain peak which is getting formed. Okay, so let's say seventeen two hundred put short. Okay, so now you can adjust it here and there. You can see which uh, strike selection works out the best. But you know this is what you can start. Building right, and uh, again the same strategy, but only the thing is you have created a bearish strategy, right? So it is called a pair put ladder. And yes, folks, that was it from my side for today's video. I hope uh, you like this video, and thank you so much for joining me up till here. Bye bye, take care, and happy trading. See you all in the next video. Bye bye.